Motion graphics are a common element used in video production. Here's a quick way to create them in Blender. First, we're going to add a camera and clear its rotation. Rotation is orthographic. What that does is take perspective out of it. So everything will be flat, which is what we want. We're then going to add a plane for the background, scale it to fit the camera, and move it to the second, to the back layer. Then we're going to add text. Next, let's do animation. So on frame 10, we'll set a keyframe for scaling and location. And on frame 35. Then we'll go back to frame one and drag it out of the picture and scale it down to zero. And we'll go to frame 35 and scale it down to zero. So then we have it pop up into frame and grow and then shrink out of frame, okay. So that's really basic, but it's kind of plain and boring. And to make it more interesting, we'll give it overlap and bounce. With this same principle, we can add other elements. All we need to do is duplicate the empty, rename it, and add in other elements and parent them to those. One thing we can do is offset the animation so it's slightly delayed. Now it's time to do some materials because it's kind of hard to see what we're working with. So let's grab the plane, go into the node view, and add a new material. Let's look at add it in material. Let's add a color ramp. A gradient texture. Texture coordinate node and a mapping node. And let's connect all these. Using a viewer node will give us a shadeless material, which is what we want for real-time rendering. Let's choose colors that we want. Let's choose a bright aqua one and a darker blue. Let's change the texture coordinate to the mapping as object and choose spherical and reverse these maps. Play around with these values until you have what you like. What I'm looking for is a, is a gradient map from the middle to the edges. I like that color. Now what we're going to do is grab the plane and drag it beneath all the graphics. Now we can see our gears are in the way. To add more depth, we will duplicate the motion graphics and change the color to white. Let's move it below our original. I'm going to increase the depth slightly and scale this text up. So now that I have our materials, let's create more overlapping actions and assets in the background. Mm -hmm. 